Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Ginny. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this little Valentine treat filled with some French vanilla wafer rolls. They're quick and easy, and I'll show you how I got started. Okay, I've taken one of our two inch cello bags and I've filled it with three of the wafer rolls, and I've simply taped the back. Since this was a little short for a ribbon and I didn't like the look, I thought this was a great solution. At this point, I'm going to take my piece of All My Love Designer series paper. This measures two inches by six, and I am going to take this and wrap it around the wafers where I'd like it. You can take a mini glue dot if you'd like to tack this in place if you don't like the movement. And I'm simply going to take a stapler and staple that quickly. And now I'm ready to decorate. I'm going to use this gorgeous celebration foil paper. This happens to be the lovely lipstick but it comes with two different colors the grapefruit grove and the lovely lipstick and I'm going to run this through the big shot using my tufted embossing folder and then I'm going to use the Be Mine stitch framelits to cut out a heart. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay I've brought my two hearts back from the big shot here you can see the tufted embossing folder and the outline of the stitched framelit. They'll cut at one time, so we're going to start by adding this outline to our treat. And I think that the glue dots are the best way to do this, because what I want to do is simply tack the outside of this frame. So I'm going to touch those two glue dots and lift up, and then I'm simply going to angle this and press down gently. You don't want to break your vanilla wafers and that allows this to pop up and move which I think is kind of cool. The next thing I'm going to do is take my foil heart and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to add a Stampin' Dimensional at the bottom and at the top point here in the center of the heart and I am going to remove those dimensional covers and carefully lining this up place it on the inside of my heart frame and that also allows it to move a little which I think is kind of nice and then I'm going to take this half inch strip of cardstock this happens to be whisper white and I'm going to place it in my punch and I'm going to punch the one end and then I'm going to take the sentiment from forever lovely which is the happy Valentine's Day and I'm going to stamp that on my flag and then place the other end so that I can see it into the punch and move it around a little bit so you can judge and punch again and if you don't like that it's a little long at that point you can slide it in move it around and punch a second time so that it's the length that you want I am going to add this to my heart simply by adding a couple of glue dots again and adhere. And then I'm going to take this lovely lipstick ribbon from the All My Love Ribbon Combo Pack. It's absolutely delightful. And I am going to add a glue dot to the back of that and add it to the side here to cover up that staple so you'll never know it's there. Oop, my glue dot did not stick. Let me try that again. There you go. It's that quick and simple. So let me show you the original again. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.